In this video, you will learn order of operations using BIDMAS for GCSE. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at this example. In this example, let's first see if you have any brackets. We have no brackets in this example. So let's move on to indices. Do we have any indices? We do have indices. We have one right here. This means we will rewrite the whole question except for the 2 squared, which we'll work it out. So let's write 12 and then plus 45. And then we're going to do divided by 5. And then let's work out 2 squared. 2 squared is going to give you an answer of 4. Now, let's see if you have any division in this example. We do have division. We have one right here. So this means we're going to work out the division and then we're going to write everything else down. So 12 plus and then 45 divided by 5 is going to give you an answer of 9. And then we're going to do minus 4. So in this example, we have two of the operations, which are the same level, because addition and subtraction are the same level. We're going to do this example from left to right. So just work it out from left to right. That means 12 plus 9 is going to give you an answer of 21. And then 21 minus 4 is going to give you an answer of 17. So the answer for this question is 17. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. And now let's go on to the next one. So now let's have a look at this example. In this example, let's first see if you have any brackets. So we do have brackets in this example, we have one right here. So this means we'll rewrite the whole question, except for the bracket, which will work it out. Let's rewrite the whole question, but before we rewrite the whole question, you guys may notice that we have two brackets in the brackets. So we have an inner bracket and we have an outer bracket. So we're going to work out the inner bracket first. In terms of the inner bracket, we have indices and we have division. And since indices higher up, we do the indices first and then we can divide. So let's rewrite the whole question outer bracket 7 plus and then inner bracket now indices so 6 squared is going to give you 36 and then divided by 6 and then let's write the outer bracket and then minus 2 now we will have to finish off the inner bracket so let's rewrite the whole question out first so outer bracket 7 plus and then inner bracket 36 divided by 6 is going to give you an answer of 6 and then let's write the outer bracket and then minus 2 now we will have to finish off this bracket now which is 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is going to give you an answer of 13. And then 13 minus 2 is going to give you an answer of 11. So the answer for this question is 11. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. And now let's go on to the next one. So now let's have a look at this example. So in this example, let's first see if we have any brackets. And we do have brackets. We have brackets right here. So this means we rewrite the question except for the brackets, which we will work it out. And in this bracket, you guys may notice that we have two brackets once again. We have an inner bracket and we have an outer bracket. So we always have to do the inner bracket first, which will be 15 minus 13. Then we can solve the outer bracket. So before doing that, let's rewrite the question. 36 divided by and then brackets, 2 cube. Now, you'll have to work out the inner bracket, which will be 15 minus 13, which is going to give you an answer of 2 then in the bracket. Now, we will have to finish this bracket off. So in this bracket, we have uh, indices and we have subtraction right here. Since indices higher up than subtraction, we do indices first. So that means we do 2 cubed first. So let's rewrite the question once again. 36 divided by and then 2 cubed is going to give you an answer of 8. 8 minus 2 is what we have so far. Now, let's rewrite the question and finish this bracket off. 36 divided by and then 8 minus 2 is going to give you an answer of 6. Let's write the 6. So now we have 36 divided by 6. 36 divided by 6 is going to give you an answer of 6. So the answer for this question is 6. So I hope you guys understood everything so far and well done. Now let's go on to the next one. Now let's have a look at this example. In this example, let's first see if we have any brackets. And we do have brackets. We have brackets right here. So this means we're going to rewrite the question except for the bracket, which we're going to work out. So in this question, as you guys could see, we have two brackets. We have an inner bracket. And we have an outer bracket. We're going to work out the inner bracket first, which is going to be 17 minus 15. So let's rewrite the question. 54 minus and then brackets 2 cube and then minus. And then we're going to work out the inner bracket. 17 minus 15 is going to give you an answer of 2 and then finish the brackets off. So now in this bracket, we have 2 cube, which is indices, and we have minus 2, which is subtraction. So out of subtraction and indices, indices obviously higher up. So we're going to do indices first. That means we're going to do 2 cube. 
So 2 cubed first is going to be 8, but let's rewrite the question. So 54 and then minus, and then brackets, 2 cubed is going to be 8 minus 2. So let's finish this bracket off, but we still have to rewrite the question. So 54 minus, and then 8 minus 2 is going to give you an answer of 6. So to get our answer, we will have to do 54 minus 6. 54 minus 6 is 48. So the answer for this question is 48. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. And now let's go on to the so next. Let's have a look at this example. In this example, let's first see if you have any brackets. And we do have brackets. We have some brackets right here. And once again, we have two brackets. We have an inner bracket, which is this one. And we have an outer bracket, which is the outside one. OK, so first let's rewrite the question and let's work out the inner bracket. So let's write the bracket and then 5 plus case. Okay, so in terms of the inner bracket, we have 8 squared and we have divide by 4. Since indices is higher than division, we're going to do indices first, which means we will do 8 squared first. 8 squared is going to give you 64 and then 64 divided by 4 and then put the bracket and then put the outer bracket divided by 3 and then minus 2. So we still have the inner bracket, which is 64 divided by 4 now. So let's rewrite the question and let's work out the inner bracket now. So brackets and then let's write 5 plus. So 64 divided by 4 is going to give you 16. So let's write the bracket and then divide by 3 minus 2. Now we have a bracket here, which is 5 plus 16. So let's rewrite the question and work out the bracket. 5 plus 16 is obviously 21. So 21 and then we have divide by 3. So 21 divided by 3 minus 2. So in terms of bit mass, division and subtraction, we have both of them. And since division is higher up, we do division first. And then we can do the subtraction. So that means we do 21 divided by 3 first. 21 divided by 3 is going to give you 7. And then bring down the minus 2. 7 minus 2 is going to give you an answer of 5. So the answer for this question is 5. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see videos more like this one, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.